High school functions are one of the uniquest party experiences I've ever had. Once high school is over, people be getting their own apartments or dorms and you can throw a party pretty much whenever, but man, in high school if you threw a killer party, you were the man. Plus now that I think about it, I don't remember going to a high school function and not having fun. This one time, I was just chilling with the boys when suddenly one of them was like, Hey yo, you guys wanna go to Mary's party? I can totally get you in. Now, I got two options, stay chilling or go to some random girls party that I've only ever seen in the cafeteria eating a grilled cheese sandwich. Pretty much, I don't know the girl or really anyone at the party, so the obvious choice is to stay chilling, right? But here's the catch, I'm in high school and there's one thing that completely controls me. The fear of missing out. So I end up answering something like, yeah man, sure, but you sure she cool with us coming? And he's like, yeah, yeah man, I got everything sorted out, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Now, we walk into the party, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make friends with these strangers that I'm gonna see every day at school afterwards, when the friend that invited us is like, Hey yo, just so you know, I ain't telling you guys we're coming, but she'll let you in for sure. Bro. So now I'm even more anxious, cause I'm going to a party uninvited, pretty much having to force myself in, plus I got like zero people to talk to, except for my two friends of course. But you know, cause I already got a few drinks in me to prep for the party, I feel like I have to go, cause I don't wanna go home half drunk at like 10pm looking like a straight fool. After what felt like an hour of walking, we arrive at the party, and not to my surprise, turns out our friend barely talked himself in. Now the other person I was with pretty much gave up instantly, so now I'm here alone, looking like a total dork, standing in front of the door trying to convince this random chick Mary, playing mind games with her, trying to put certain words in the correct order so her brain thinks it's actually a good idea to let me in. Unfortunately, that seemed like an impossible mission, cause I could see that there was just way too many people already in her house, and the place was probably being ransacked by drunk and horny cavemen as we spoke. So I'm trying to convince her for a good two minutes, and she ain't folding. But then I figured it out, the perfect configuration of words. Hey, how about I help you clean everything up tomorrow? All you gotta do is let me join the party. And she's like, I bet, but you better not be lying. Yeah of course fool, who you think I am? I finally get in the function and the first thing I think to do is look for my friend, cause maybe he can introduce me to some of his homies here and get the ball rolling. Unfortunately, for me, that man was spitting game hard to this one chick and I didn't want to cock block him so I just kind of slid my own way. After that, I'm thinking that I'm pretty screwed, because there's no natural way anymore for me to get the social ball running. But thankfully, me being the giga chat I am, a group of girls just kind of came to talk to me, and I now had a couple FUNCTION FRIENDS. Turns out, these girls were friends with the chick my friend was trying to get, so we ended up spending most of the party with them. Plus, since we were like a group of six with us and four girls, everybody else was coming to join the combos too. There was this one guy though who was kind of annoying, cause he was the stereotypical drunk saying stuff like, Man, I love you. You're like my best friend, bro. Even though we had just met, and to be honest, I ain't feeling the same, cause he was holding me back from enjoying the party by constantly following me around like a straight dog. But overall, it was a pretty baller night out, and I ended up helping that girl Mary in the morning, and she promised that she'll invite me to all her future parties. Oh yeah. Really happy I didn't bail out instantly like the other guy who just went home half drunk and missed out on a great high school function. Hey, so that was the video. I got a lot more of these types of stories, so if you like them, I'll for sure make more. Anyway, see you in the next one where I talk about the best activities to do well baked.